Harvesting the rainwater is a simple technique of collecting rainwater from surfaces on which water falls and subsequently storing this water for later use. Inspired by a water harvesting theme park developed at Jayanagar in Bangalore, the Minister for Municipal Administration, Sri K.T. Ramarao, directed the Hyderabad Metropolitan Water Supply and Sewerage Board to develop a similar theme park in order to create awareness amongst the public on water harvesting and conservation method on a 1.25 acre land located at Jubilee Hills at a cost of 3 crores. Several innovative ideas for water conservation and awareness techniques for educating the citizens have been implemented in this unique theme park. The highlights of the theme park are as follows. Construction of various types of soil moisture and groundwater recharge structures. Creation of structures on how to collect rainwater, its storage and the process on how to recharge to ground of the excess rainwater. Knowledge hub consisting of display gallery that creates awareness on various methods on rainwater harvesting, water treatment, sewerage treatment and other advanced techniques for rainwater harvesting. An animation center has been created for the children to play video games on rainwater harvesting and recharge and sensitize them on the importance of rainwater harvesting and water conservation. Holographic projection on the process of water treatment and sewerage treatment. Virtual reality show. A 3D film on water drop journey from source to Hyderabad has been created. This film depicts how every drop of water has to travel several hundred kilometers to Hyderabad before going through several processes like pumping, filtration and purification among others before finally reaching our kitchens. Auditorium for projecting films related to rainwater through Chota Bheem cartoon has also been created. Various techniques on save water by showing practically the usage of water flow restrictors to save at least 30% water to three types of taps with various levels of water restrictors. Human body water testing machines to find the water level in our body is also available. A talking tree has been erected to engage children that discusses on the importance of conserving water and planting trees. Every structure or activity in the theme park has been developed with an idea of conserving water. Even the walking path has been created as soil moisture rainwater harvesting structure and the ridges have been created on the theme of rainwater harvesting by construction of contour buns. Structures like swale have been created for carrying the excess flow of rainwater, duly recharging the entire length till the end during the water flow. Finally, sent into the recharge wells and dug wells. Stormwater drains have been created after check dams to flow the excess rainwater. Recharge pits have been constructed at regular intervals to recharge rainwater into the ground. Gazebos skirted with gutter to collect rainwater from their roofs and different types of storage units have been arranged to store the rainwater for the regular usage. Injection well has been constructed with filter media and slotted casing to allow rainwater to recharge quickly to surrounding bore wells. The theme garden also has other features like water-wise garden which consists of three types of plants based on water consumption. Hydrophytes which consume high quantity of water, mesophytes that consume medium quantity of water, xerophytes that consume very less water and are present in deserts. Theme Zodiac Park is also developed in another corner. These plans are based on zodiac signs and they will create awareness on the sacred plants. Medicinal garden having various types of medicinal plants and their usages is also developed in another corner. Automatic weather monitoring station to read the temperature, rainfall, humidity and wind is also erected. Give relief to the visitors, a musical water fountain has also been created. The theme park which was developed in a record 100 days time 
is the testimony to solving the water problems of the city by creating awareness and motivating the citizens to practice rainwater harvesting methods. It takes water to make cities grow, and without water, cities would die.